Hey guys, how's it going? This is Brett from WebTech with Brett and today I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own Joomla module by following these very quick steps. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is first of all create a folder for our module. This is going to be the name of it. I've already got my Joomla module directory open here and basically what we're going to do is create a directory called mod underscore and we're going to call this Brett. So in there you're going to want to create basically two files that are important and the first one it's going to be one called mod underscore brett.xml and then we're going to create another folder called template or tmpl and then we're going to use a file called default.php now you're also going to need a file back here called uh, mod mod underscore brett.xml.php oh, So if you followed along, those are the main files that you're going to need to create your simple Joomla module. Now for the module itself, we're going to start out by creating some XML for that. So we're going to start off by, first of all, putting a XML version up here. And that can just be 1.0 with encoding set to UFT8. The next thing we're going to do, as you can see my thing's already prompted it, is we're actually going to create a extension tag and we're going to give that the type module this will tell Joomla that we're installing a module and we're going to put that as version equals 1.0 and it's going to be a client site with the method being upgrade and we just close off the extension there so now we're going to need to pretty much add in the basics of this as you can see this has already pre-populated it and what we're going to do off the bat is just press tab on here and automatically do all that we're going to change the author because we don't know who this person is but briefly and say module about Brett. we don't have an index.html so we won't need that but realistically we probably should add one so we'll add one a blank html file just there cool now your parameters are what's basically going to be your fields that you pull through onto your template so we're not going to need a lot of these and what we can do is just say add a basic editor remove that and there we've got our field set which is just a basic text editor or it looks like a basic type one we can use um, a different type editor and also i forgot to close off the extension tag and that should be all we need for the basic xml setup moving on to your default what we're going to do here is pretty much just open up our php and we're going to define our we're basically going to add this which is no direct access to the file which is joomla has a built-in defined j jx ec or die which pretty much means restricted access and so nobody can access this php file directly and then we're going to be requiring module helper to get the layout path and we're going to change this from mod hello world to mod underscore brett and our layout is going to be default so the layout should act automatically pull what's in oh i just realized i got this wrong so i had them in the wrong file yeah so this is then going to pull out what's in um, our PHP file or our, our template. File. All right, so this part of the build, we should have an XML file, a main file, a default template, and an index.html. Now the HTML will always remain empty, but that's fine. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is installing it. Now under system, you're gonna see um, a little discover tab. Now, anytime you add a module or create a module, it should appear there. So just clicking that and one click install, and when you see discovered installed successfully, you know that it's worked properly. Now, what we can do with this is if you go into your content site modules and you create a new one, sometimes they automatically appear here. But if we create a new one and we just search for Brett, you can see the module is automatically gonna apply there. And we can pretty much just create some text output for module test we're gonna put this somewhere on our, only on the pages selected, we're gonna put that on our about page. You can see it's output in here, but it is saying hello world. Now the only reason that is, is because all we've done in the code here is outputted hello world. So what we can do is we can create a preview tag and actually in here do a print R and output our params. So these should be defaultly linked to the module just automatically depending if you've got an xml or anything they should be set um, by the joomla library so doing that we can see that we now have a bunch of data in here that we can use so as you can see here we've got a standard object called brett so what you want to do then 
is change your echo output to use the new parameter. So what we have to use is a get sign and then rect, which should ultimately get this little one up here and that means we should have the output, well, output for module should, should appear there now. So doing that, we can see that our new module is there. So with this, you can actually go a step further. You can go add image tags in here. You can just by altering your XML. So on your XML file here, once it's installed, it's a lot easier to do. You can create a field set and go image, which should, because I'm using the autocomplete thing, will automatically add that in. Again, I'll remove this tag, save that, which should in turn make me get a image thing that will appear right here. Now, the field sets um, for parameters, they all change based on the things at the top. So if we wanna keep this in the same field set, we can just remove that. And now we should have image not in its own tab, but again, just underneath there. This is handy if you wanna create sliders or anything else that requires people to insert images or do anything else. The only other thing that I wanna show you is basically how we can enqueue a script. So let's say you have a module and you want to use let's say slick slider or flex slider or any type of javascript library you can basically just tell it to include script see now we of course have to get the document and because the document is basically how joomla handles that and there's a really easy thing that's just add script so if you're going to go to slick slider and grab the cdn link for it cdn link sorry and then you can basically on your output create the loop and everything to handle a slider. This can be used for style sheets as well. You should just be able to use the document, add style. Yeah, there we go. So that does do it with the really basics of how to create a Joomla module. It is that simple. It is very useful and you can. it means you can put things anywhere around the site. If you have something that's really specific or you wanna create your own form, own module, whatever it may be, or even just have a way to display data that's maybe not available in everyday life. You can do that. You can also do database calls and everything else in here. So yeah, I'm re I really hope that tutorials help you. And if you did find it handy, just give this video a thumbs up and it will mean the world to me. Also, if you are a business looking for help in these areas, there's been a QR code on your screen for the majority of this video. So if you scan that, it will take you directly to my website. So do that and I'll be happy to help out. Until next time guys, thanks for watching and if you do have any more questions, any concerns or anything yet you wanna learn, then comment down below and I'll be happy to help you. Until next time, cheers.